Well, we are loaded up, heading to the ranch. It is rifle season. Starts in a couple days. And uh, Jeff and Buddy and Eldon and Kendall Jones, are, we're all actually gonna be there in Jaylee hunting. Hopefully the weather's right and uh, the deer are finally actually starting to do some stuff. So it should be a fun, fun week. Spot. 
buttons talking and stuff. He can't even walk to it, let alone stop, man. Oh, we started this morning. We're a mile and a half at least from the truck right now. Whoa, 14 new messages. A Kindle shot. Freezing. First Oklahoma buck. First Oklahoma buck. Only didn't even take that long. I got lucky. Wow. He's a lot bigger than I thought he was. He is huge. His body is huge. He has good solid bases too. It's a lot bigger than I thought he was. What we have is we've been waiting pretty much all day now. I mean, uh, almost five hours. Oh. I guess that broke my heart, Woodrow. We, we hunted that whole hillside all this morning. And we knew we seen a big deer up on top. Junior come this way. And then when we got up on top, we could see what we thought was Junior in this bottom with a doe. They, they went away, and so we decided to hop in the truck and come all the way back around and look at it from this side. And we did as we were coming up this road. We seen one of my big shooters. I don't know which one for sure it is. We spotted this deer at like 10:15, and it's uh, 2:45, so four and a half hours. We're going to have to close this distance a little bit. He's 600 yards up there. We're not sure which way he's looking, so. What we're going to do is, I'm going to ease straight out of the vehicle here. I'm just barely going to ease the door open, and I'm going to drop down to the ground. Crawl up the road right here and cut in, and there's a sand dune right over here with some plum tickets on it. Well, it's the day after, and this is actually uh, where we were at uh, when I spotted this deer. This is an old oil well road that, that winds to the north here. And he was standing up over there and literally we just stopped the truck and shut it off. And the reason I did that is because the deer around here are used to these, these roads are traveled on a daily basis. Uh, well tenders are in here every day checking the wells. And so as long as the vehicle goes and leaves or stops and they don't notice anything, uh, they feel safe with it because they're used to it. So I knew immediately I just turned the truck off and shut it off. And so this is where we were parked and literally we sit here for several hours. If you hunker down, now you can no longer see where he was bedded. Brush covered all that. So we were able to just slip out of the truck and literally crawl. Right. 
years ago right in my scope and I couldn't find him in the, in the brush and then he wasn't walking away from us. We spotted this deer at like 10, 15. We're gonna have to close this distance a little bit. All we did was crawl down this ditch. As now you can see, I knew he was straight out in front of us. And the sand dune gave me all the cover I needed. This trail right here, it's open, quiet, and sandy. That's where we were able to get. We actually sat right on that sand dune there and he was in that shadow. This is about as close as we can get. Our hope is, if he's got a doe, that she will want to or he will want to come to this water hole. I know he's right below that sand dune right there somewhere. Right there he is. He's all the way down the creek. He's gonna, he's gonna turn and come to the creek. He popped out there. We seen one little glimpse and then all of a sudden he was clear down here. And you can see he was heading toward the river. Um, that's where he was going. He had every intention of going to the river. We caught a little glimpse of him way out here. You know, and I, I hit that rack stack. I, uh, I picked up and I carried that just for that reason in case he wasn't with a doe. And I hit it and he come all the way up through here. I mean, zigzagging up through and literally popped right out 20 yards looking right at us. The situation here was almost perfect because we could see him out tip of the truck and I don't think he really knew, even knew we were there when we were coming up yesterday morning. You know, we were far enough away and vehicles drive up down this all the time. We got lucky that we're playing the right conditions and making it right. <laughs> Look at that. It's too bad he broke up there a little bit, but we could see this deer up there. He was a stud. I've got pictures of this deer, actually. We had a couple just brief pictures of him about three and a half miles away, three miles away probably. And that goes to show you that's what the rut will do. Look at that, man. That was buddy. You got that. Was I blocking you? I think I got him because I saw his front end go down. It sounded like he went down behind. Oh my god. That's a stud. That's a bruiser of a buck right there. Oh man. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We've been sitting here patiently all day. All day. And we saw a big buck. I don't know if that's the same buck. I'm not even sure if that's the same buck that was there, but if it is, he went way around. And I put it right up behind his shoulder and squeezed it off quick. I mean, it happened so quick. It looked like he nosedived in, and he went back behind us, so we'll give it a few minutes. I'm not exactly sure where he was standing. All I know is he went into this thick stuff. 
Man, I just know if I hit him with this gun, he wouldn't have gone very far. There he is. Look at that thing. Yeah, I don't know this buck. I don't even know if anybody knows this buck. All I know is, is he's a good one. Wow, thank you, Lord. Look at that bladed, man. That sucker's bladed, big time. We're gonna get him all fixed up, tagged up, cleaned up, show it to everybody and be happy and celebrate camp tonight. We're gonna have a big celebration tonight. Hey, I did too, brother. <laughs> I heard you shoot. I told him. I just shot, and then I heard, I heard you shoot. I, said, I don't even know shot. if we've seen this buck. I don't know. I had never seen it. No, oh, it's tiny twos. It's tiny twos. <laughs> it's redemption, my brother. Oh, it was, because it's is tiny longer. Two. That's it's why. broke. Yeah, that's tiny twos. Redemption, my brother. <laughs> Take that. Yeah. Heck yeah, my bro. Awesome. Congratulations. That's what I couldn't see. I mean, I didn't. Yeah, that's him, because I... Like I said, I, we got pictures of him. That's 100% him, that's a stud. That's the one you said was, that, yeah. that was broken. Now, I didn't even register when I looked at this side. He broke off a little bit of his main beam right here too. Just put tiny twos down. We got a history with this buck going back to last year. Had him during muzzleloader season at about 30 yards and I had a bad cap. Uh, popped a cap on him and could never get a shot and had no other chances with him. And he had actually been shot by Jeff last year with a bow. He hit him a little high and he lived. So this buck's got a big history and uh, we finally ended that history tonight. Hey, the heck with them deer, I'm about to eat. This fat boy right here is hungry. Buddy, tiny twos? No more, tiny twos is no tiny more. Tiny twos is done! Done! He broke right here, he yeah. broke his three and then he broke that three. And then, he broke, and then he broke it. And then he chipped this off. I will have to look for his scar. Look at the difference in the bodies. I know. Look how uh, small his body looks. He was a Texas type deer. Man, what a day. I'm probably going to do a little bit of food up in the can cooker and, and uh, relax and have some fun. I don't, that doesn't happen very often, but to be able to kill a buck myself like that on opening day rifle, and then Buddy killed one, and Kendall also killed one. Uh, just an absolute incredible day, a way to start off a Oklahoma rifle season. But uh, now it's it, it's kind of nice just to be able to sit around and, and hang out and, and enjoy each other's fellowship without the stress of hunting daylight to dark. Well, guys, what a great time in Northwest Oklahoma up there. And you know what? I think God has used hunting to bring believers together, and that's exactly what we had this week. And one thing I want to read out of the Bible that I think went with this is Matthew 22, 37 through 39 says, Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. We all get selfish. I know I do. But if I obey this and I love the Lord the way I'm supposed to and then I love my neighbor, I forget about myself. And remember, as we always say here, shoot by sight, walk by faith.